on Divorce Court Today. He's a comedian and she is his assistant, but their life together is no laughing matter. Joy thinks Jarvis has stopped loving her, but she is afraid that if they split, she'll lose her job. Joy Johnson and Jarvis Jackson have brought their dispute for Judge Lynn Toler to resolve. Testimony in Divorce Court starts now. Ms. Johnson, you are here with Mr. Jackson. You two joined your lives together three years ago. You also joined in a business venture at the same time. Mm -hmm. You want to stay in business, but get rid of him. <laughs> so that's why we are here. Uh, Ms. Johnson, why don't you tell me a little bit about the business, what you're doing, and how you got involved? Okay, Jarvis Magnum is a comedian. So uh, we met actually at one of his shows. And um, ever since then, I just been working for him, just being his personal assistant, basically. Okay. And um, during the course uh, of this three years, did you have any children together? No, we didn't have any kids. But you did. Yeah, yeah it was during a break. <laughs> during a break? <laughs> yeah, like spring break. <laughs> well, it, it, explain to me the nature of the break and how a child resulted from that break. Uh, everything was getting pretty tense, Your Honor, so we both decided we should take a break. And, uh, so did you leave the home? Yeah, yeah, I left the home. You I moved went, out. And moved out. With the intention of staying away or just uh, a separation? Separation. Mm -hmm. Separation. Mm -hmm. Just taking a little break, seeing what yeah. would happen. And during the course of this break, you got somebody else pregnant? Yeah. OK. You, you don't really trust him? At all. Why don't you t Well. At all. Other than the baby. Other than that. Which seems a little absurd. Why don't you trust him? Well. So I'm going to introduce you to Jarvis today because today he's Jarvis. Other days he's Magnum. Jarvis at home is a sweetheart, takes care of me and everything. Magnum is the cheater, liar, texter, the person who gets other people pregnant. The well, well tell me about this. When he's when, when he's when he's Magnum. When he's Magnum. Uh, and you're his assistant. And I'm his assistant. How is that relationship? Is it impeding on your your relationship at home? So the money's great. Okay. But that's about the only thing that's great. I'm the little assistant, basically. I'm the little assistant in front of everybody outside. At home, I'm uh, the girlfriend. Yeah. In front of other what women, What does he I'm say or do out and about that makes you feel like the little assistant? The little assistant. Magnum is the equivalent of like a three-year-old. If Magnum spills something, I clean it. If Magnum wants a shot, I get it. If Magnum, uh, I don't know. If Magnum wants the sky to be green, I should make the sky uh, green. I object. I'd rather have it orange. Oh, really? <laughs> if, Ma if Magnum wants to make a I joke. I hope the routine gets better from here, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go ahead. We're warming you? up. Yeah, oh, yeah. OK, all righty. <laughs> I give you a shot at it. Anyone could, could, can throw a bad one out there every <laughs> once in a while. I understand you make 20 to 30 percent of his income. I make it, and that's enough to live and have fun. Let me that's... tell you something, Ms. Johnson. If, if, if I was out there and I was paying somebody 30 percent of my income, mm -hmm. if I'd spill something, they need to clean it up, too. Oh, no, no, but that's I That's a lot of money. I do the work. See, I, I make it so that Magnum can get on stage and not have to worry about anything. I make it... The behind the scenes is a thousand times harder than in front of... In, than on the stage. I make it so that he goes up there and he has no worries on stage and at home. So it doesn't just stop, oh, in a club or something. No, at home, I'm the one making the calls. I make the shows. So mm -hmm. he goes up there and performs. So 30% really is nothing. If we weren't together and he wasn't sharing the rest of the percentage, 30% would be a problem. Give me something outrageous that You don't know done. the half. Let me tell you. No, no, Please you, tell we're me. Talking about, <laughs> we're talking about the 30%. There was a time, Magnum, not Jarvis, uh, we got a room together because when we go out, you know, we get our room. A regular, uh, you know, it wasn't fancy. It wasn't too fancy. It wasn't too not fancy. It was a nice room. What did Magnum go do after we got paid? He spent the entire check plus an IOU on an upgraded jacuzzi room. Not my, my part, my 30% wasn't in that. My 30% went to the jacuzzi room. So 30% is nothing because I hardly get it, first off. If we weren't together, I wouldn't get anything. You wouldn't get anything. Okay. So. Mr. Mr. Jackson, do you spend frivolously? Uh, no, at times. I mean, it's life. You got to have fun. Uh, I travel a lot. I go to different big cities, Chicago, Detroit, Miami. So I feel like sometimes I want to splurge. 
have fun, get a nice room, mm -hmm. go to the beach and hang out. Not only on himself. Do, does it sound rational to you to spend your entire check, then some, on accommodations at a gig? It, well, I mean, you, you're going into the red. Well, it, it was a, a one-time thing. Maybe once a month I'll go out and I'll do something like that. It's not so that, it was more like a vacation. It just wasn't, you didn't... Yeah, I don't, I don't spend frivolously just on myself. Go check her closet. She's got hundreds of pair of shoes, makeup galore. <laughs> that I work for. That I work for. That, and then he's telling you... You guys have say, any money put away? We do. You do? We do. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Because of me. That's another thing I handle. Don't give it to him. We wouldn't have... We would owe people money. I... The major concern I thought I saw with respect to your being assistant is he doesn't really introduce you as his girlfriend. You, when he's around other people, you're the assistant, mm -hmm. and you feel somewhat uh, disrespected or dishonored by Very. that. Explain it to me. So we'll be at a show. And these comedy shows, it's almost like being at a rap concert. There are girls dressed up, mm -hmm. waiting for someone who looks like they have money. He opens the door when, after the pictures, the girls will come to me and be like, oh, because I do makeup on, mm -hmm. a, on, a, on an addition to being his assistant. I do makeup. So they'll be like, oh, your face is so pretty. Oh, who are you? And I'll be like, oh, that's, that's my boyfriend. You know, that's my fiance, my boyfriend. And uh, they'll come to me. They'll butter me up, the girls. Mm -hmm. And then they'll go back to him because, you know, they're prepping to take a picture. I'm taking the picture. They're prepping. They're like, oh, who's she? And he's like, oh, yeah, that's just my assistant. That's opening the door for them to, after the show is over, for them to say, oh, what are you doing after? Oh, because they, he's not making it known that he's taken. Mr. Jackson, so, is that an accurate recitation of how you introduce her to good-looking women? Uh, no. No, I no. Do it, I, all I, women. I, I all women. Not good looking. The ugly ones, all too. Of them. No, it, it's... It was, <laughs> <laughs> it's a business. We're, we're at work when, we, when we're at shows. We're at work. So I say, hey, that's my assistant. What do you want me to go into this whole deal about it's my wife, we love each other dearly, you don't try anything? Are no, we allowed I'm, to I'm object? just... Because uh, he's saying it's a work thing. Keep in mind, I've been managing him for years. I have no problem taking pictures. You can go out with who you want to. Oh, but tell me exactly who it is. Don't tell me it's business when it's not. Using the fans as business is not... It, it, there's a line. You don't have to talk about me. I don't require you to say that I'm your girlfriend, but don't make it seem like you're not... you're not involved. Oh, I don't require you to stay with me. You don't even have to stay in the same room with me. But you're not going to stay in the same room with somebody else while you're with me. Now, that, that I understand. Make... Next, what happened when Joy set up an ambush in a Miami hotel room to catch Jarvis doing something he shouldn't be doing? Divorce isn't easy. If you need help with your breakup, call toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Real life, real relationships, real solutions. Divorce Court continues. Mr. Jackson, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to speak here. I know you thought I would, I never <laughs> would, but um, you say that she's concerned about things that aren't really happening and that you proved it to her in Miami. Can you explain to me what you meant by that? Uh, yeah, we had uh, just both gotten off tour. Uh, I got a show in Miami, it was Labor Day weekend. I said, hey, come with me, let's go to Miami. We can get a nice hotel, we can go hang out on South Beach, have some drinks, you know, relax, we deserved it. She said, no, I'm gonna stay home, she's gonna do work, she had some makeup faces to do, so she says, so I get down to Miami, I do my show. It's all fun with the group of people. We all hanging out. We go back to my hotel. We're at the bar just drinking, everybody drinking. We all go up. I'm going to go change. We're going to go to the club. I walk into my hotel room. Who's sitting on a bed in the dark? Joy Johnson. And what did you, you say when you saw her? I was scared for my life. I thought somebody <laughs> was, was out was stalking you, stalking you know, me, somebody... yeah. What was your what was your intention? How, how did you expect that thing to play out? You let Jarvis tell that story. If Magnum would have told the story, Magnum would have been like, "Yeah, I was weird there with a whole bunch of honeys." He say people when he means women, ladies. He was there with a group of women and not respectable women, women. 
And, oh, <laughs> he brought them to the bar. So why is all of them looking at me when you brought them to your hotel? I saw them all. So what he, he, you see how he tells the story? Jarvis tells because the story in a nice, respectable a way. Magnum would have told you, yeah, I bring five honeys to the room. Like, even, it happened. I don't even say honeys. Yeah, of course I was on the bed. Of course, because it gets to a point where I know I'm not crazy. He can explain away text messages, but you can't explain away something I see. So I wanted right. to go see. And Nothing saw, but women. There were no guys in the group. There were no... If he, if you call him a man, he was the only man in the group. So <laughs> he was She's the only man. She's beating you on the joke but... front, Mr. Jackson. You might want to step up your game a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying. Well, tell me about the text messages Ooh. you say indicate that he is doing something other than the right thing. Let me tell you how smart Magnum is. I am the assistant. Everything runs through me. So Magnum cannot put a code on his phone. He can't do it because you know why? I'm going to have to remember it, it for right. him. Magnum's phone is open on the table there. I go through the messages because I can. Go through it. I miss you, baby. I had fun last night. This is the night you're supposed to have a business. How fun is a business meeting? Like, how fun is it? I miss you, baby. I had fun last night. Miss you too, sexy. How sexy can a business meeting be? Like, where did you go that it was so darn sexy? These are mess... These are it, half of a percent of an example of, of the messages. the times of messages oh, that he's receiving. Oh, what's Mr. Jackson, love? can you explain the I had a good time too sexy message? Uh, no, she's right. She caught me. <laughs> she... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, that's just how I talk. I'm I'm an uh, open talker. I say baby. I say sexy a lot. So, but that's not, according to you, indicative of anything illicit going on. No, you not just at say all. that's. No, no I, w I would be stupid to leave the evidence in, in front of her like that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm. It's not stopped people before. I will say that. <laughs> but uh, why don't you tell me your main concern about her? We've been talking about you, ad infinitum. Uh, obviously, she's crazy. Uh, she's a good businesswoman. She works hard. She, she does what I ask. But on the personal level, it's just getting too much. The jealousy, the, the I'm always doing something. I can't even take pictures with fans after shows. We can't take selfies. We got to take ussies. She got to be in the picture. Right. And it's just getting, it's just getting out of hand. It's just getting way too much. Getting, getting out of hand, getting crazy. I'm taking the pictures. I'm going to be in the picture and take the picture at the same time. You okay. are a comedian, not a musician. Like, what are you talking about? Ms. Johnson, I know you love him. Mr. Jackson, do you love her? Of course I do. Of course you do? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. No doubt about it. <laughs> a little bit of doubt, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's not that, like, a tiny bit of doubt. It's just a little, little a tiny little bit. bit of doubt. Hey, we all have some doubt sometime. I ain't gonna get mad at you about it. When divorce court continues, texting and cheating, who went first? Plus, what's for dinner? Do you think it's realistic for Joy and Jarvis to maintain a business relationship if they end their romance? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and join the conversation on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court continues. Mr. Jackson, you say, despite all of her allegations, that she is, in fact, the cheater in the relationship. Uh, yeah, she is, very Can much so. Can you tell me why you believe that? Uh, the same way I text, it's the same way she texts. Uh, on a road trip, we're on a road trip, we're going to uh, Dallas, I'm driving on the highway, she's asleep, her phone's going off, I'm thinking it's an emergency, mm -hmm. keeps going off, keeps going off, I check it, and it's some guy saying, I can't wait to see you when you get back, have fun, in some other place. She didn't even say she was with me. She didn't say she was at work. She didn't say she was with her boyfriend, nothing. Ooh, and you know you did it, because I can see it on your face. <laughs> let, no, let me Looking tell over you. Looking there like it's not happening. Let me tell you, when you're done, you're done. You know, like when, this is after, he knows, he doesn't know this. This is after I had an hour or two with his phone, and I got to go through it and really digest all the babies, sexy, miss you, Glad we had fun together. 
oh, hot tub was nice kind of stuff. After I digested that, I was like, okay, I'll be, I'll do the tour, I'll, but I'm not gonna, we're not together anymore. You're not gonna be with him no. anymore. You ended so the relationship. I ended it in my mind, and I text a friend and I say, yes, I'm out. I'm not at work, I'm not with a, my boyfriend, because we don't, clearly he doesn't tell those girls, so what, right. what's the difference between me? Why does it matter what I text when you're texting that? Why does it matter? It matters because you're with me. You can't do that right next to me. Do oh, it when I'm not around. Are you kidding me? I don't even know the word for the type of crap that you just, just came out your mouth. Like, are you kidding me? You could do it, but I can't because what? You Magnum? <laughs> okay, Magnum. Oh, now she's warm. Now it's she's Magnum. a little hot. Yeah, you are. I mean, <laughs> do you know? Do you see how hurt she is? She really, she really feels uh, like you just. You're not even cool about it. You're not even in secretive about it. You're just kind of really out there with. I dabble with other women and deal with it. That's be how she feels. Because there's nothing to hide. If I was doing something, I would be secretive and I would hide it. There's nothing to hide. Everything is out in the open. Okay. I would think you yeah. would be more comfortable with that than me having a gotcha. double life. Gotcha, life. gotcha, gotcha. Ms. Johnson, you say he complains about everything. He complains if you don't cook, but if you do cook, he complains that it's nasty. Let me tell you, this is Magnum, because, you know, Jarvis wouldn't do that. Okay. Magnum likes to eat. I'm Jamaican and Nigerian. I eat a variety of different foods. Mm -hmm. Magnum likes burgers and fries and fillies and, you know what I'm saying? I can't, if I can't do it, I can't do it. I do, I, and it's not that I don't do it, I do it. It's just not to his, oh, it's too well done. Oh, uh, you couldn't put the cheese before you put the uh, lettuce? <laughs> oh, uh, so you was just gonna put that much cheese and not put, and then he'll leave it. Not try it because I'm your girl who made you food, but uh, he'll just leave it. like. That's why we go out, we eat out a lot because Magnum is picky. Magnum needs his shirt a certain way. Magnum needs his bed made a certain way. Magnum needs his drink poured at 45 degree angle a certain way. Magnum needs his assistant to, <laughs> Magnum needs a lot. And so 30%, Magnum needs a lot. So if I could get in there, dig Magnum out, throw him away, <laughs> Ooh. And you could keep Jarvis, she would be fine, what? right? I would be ecstatic. Is but you one? know, you would be poor because Magnum <laughs> makes the money. <laughs> <laughs> right? Judge Lynn Toller's ruling next. Divorce Court. Judge Lynn Toller's ruling right now. As I said in the beginning, Ms. Johnson, you want Mr. Jackson to go on his way, but you want to maintain your employment, and you want me to order him to continue to employ you uh, even as you throw him out of the house. Yes. Explain to me exactly what you want from me. Do you want a certain period of time? Do you want me to specify the pay? Do you want me to specify your duties? How do you anticipate this order to look? We don't have to live together for me to do my job. I right. do my job really well. It makes him a lot of money. It makes me a lot of money. And I don't want to stop just because we don't live together. Mm -hmm. So I can continue to book his shows. I can continue to, even if he wants me to pour his liquor backstage, I'll continue to do that. We just don't have to go home together. We can be business partners and not be together. But he's not going to fire me because we're not together. I don't think that's fair. So. Mr. Jackson, do you have a response to that? Uh... She's a good worker, I, and uh, I won't fire her, but she'd have to get a lesser percent. That's the girlfriend percent is the 30%. No, really. Oh. That's the girlfriend percent. So, okay. It, it, let, me, let me explain something to you. You know, every state is different, but most of them are at will employment. I cannot, as a judge, say you must, in the future, continue to employ this individual uh, at a certain rate, for a certain time, you know, for a certain thing. He just can't do that. He, people have the right to fire who they want to fire. If I tell you he's got to keep you for a year, you knock the fool. He's got to keep you, you know what I mean? And, and my order wouldn't even be legal. It's, right. it, you, you can't do that kind of thing. And I understand you want to keep your job. You're just going to have to continue to do well at your job in order to keep it. And if he doesn't pay you enough, move on and move forward. Mr. Jackson, I wish you the best. Uh, in your career, maybe things will start popping for you more because she talks a lot. <laughs> and, it, and if you get rid of her, maybe... <laughs> uh, good luck to both of you. I'm sorry it didn't work out, but there will be no recovery in this matter. It is so weird. Joy and Jarvis agree with the judge and have moved on to other relationships. And Joy still has her job.
Post a comment or submit your case at divorcecourt.com or call toll free 1-877-311-2222. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Divorce Court.